Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam, and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance. This is from June the 4th to the 10th. Such an amazing week. Oh my gosh. We're going to be going through three different phases of the moon. The first one we're going to be going through is the receiving phase of the moon cycle. This is in the disseminating moon. So your affirmation is, I receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources. So that's very, very exciting. I love that stage. Then we have, da, 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 on Thursday we move into the last quarter of the moon phase, which is asking us to breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. This is like balancing the giving and the receiving on the moon phase. This is a really beautiful time. Then on Sunday is the balsamic moon. So your affirmation is, I reflect with gratitude and take time to rest. And as you guys know, every single balsamic moon for the last two in a row, I've taken that time of social media to just re like recalibrate my soul, you know, just disconnect because, you know, we're constantly on our phones and it's not really good for our mental health. Um, yeah. So they're the three different phases of the moon, which is awesome. So today I've got my, my Shadowscapes Tarot. Here we go. Got the Shadowscapes Tarot here. So I've already shuffled all of these. So we'll just see what we need to know for this week ahead. Also, I just need to let you know that if you haven't already subscribed to join the beautiful MK Love Fam, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. Um, yeah, which is super duper important. All right, so this is just a general reading. So just take from this what feels best for you. You, All of these cards may make sense to you, maybe a couple or maybe, you know, just one. But just know that this is just a general reading. If you want more detailed clarity, then you'll need to book yourself a private reading. Okay, angels. What do my MK Love fam need, whoop, need to know for this week? Well, we had one card that just flew off. So I'm going to take the first card that I saw. Holy flipping heck. And it's the King of Wands. Check out this card here. Whoa. Wands represents passion. The king is like the highest that you can get. Whoa. So this is like you've really followed your dreams. And now you're receiving the, like, the abundance for all of the hard work and the determination and everything that you have been working alongside. You've got like a lion around you or what are they, wolves? I don't know, you have lots of like wild beasts around you which are like very much there to like protect you. It's like you're very much um, like highly regarded. Um, it's just strong, it's stability. It's like, like I've done it. Wow, maybe this is either something that you are working towards or maybe you have already achieved it or maybe you're seeing glimpses of it or maybe you're even at the phase where you, you're starting to feel it as if you've already got it, which is what I talk about a lot in my Law of Attraction series. Then the other card that came up was, if I can pick it up, is the Queen of Swords. Swords is like intellect, intelligence. It's like... She's just like so beautiful and she's so gracious and she's like, she's surrounded by butterflies. So she's under, undergone, um, undergone a massive like transformation. Maybe, she, ah, then I heard that song. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. It's going to be a bright, 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 bright sunshiny day. So it's like you, you're now seeing clearly which is all about perspective. Maybe you've had that that little light bulb that just goes off in your head and you've seen the like you've gained clarity and you've now got the perspective that's going to put you on the right path. Maybe this right path is going to lead you to this king the king of swords or maybe you're already there. It's just it you have to take from what feels best for you. But well, they're two very good cards. Very good cards. All right. Clarity on King of Wands and Queen of Swords. Who? The Three of Pentacles. This is like, 
I see this as also like this could be three different opportunities. It's interesting because um, Lane, she messaged me on Instagram just before I filmed this reading. Um, Lane, if you're watching, you know exactly what I'm referring to about the three. And uh, that's awesome. Maybe it's three different opportunities or maybe it's like three types of like abundance these could be three friends that could be helping you out i don't know what does abundance look like for you this could be three people helping you out this could be three different forms of abundance this could be three different streams of income this could be three choices maybe you choose the one that truly sparks joy for you i don't know this is just a general reading what is popping up in your subconscious right now trust that take that first thought and just roll with it don't even second guess yourself because within like two seconds fear will come in and be like no you're not gonna get it it's like oh yeah i am i keep hearing so many songs today and then i heard i'm on the right track baby i was born this way dun, 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 dun. whoa king of wands Queen of Swords and Three of Pentacles. This is a fabulous week. Oh my gosh. What else do we need to know, angels? June 4th to the 10th. Okay. The first card that I saw. Oh my god. I can't pick up these flipping cards. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Oh my god. The Knight of Pentacles. It is coming to you. This abundance is like, da, 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 da. it's like, you're co it's coming to you. Maybe it's coming a lot quicker than you thought because you released your resistance on the full moon, which was the 29th or the 30th of May, depending on where you are in the world. Holy flip. Holy flip. All right. The Knight of Pentacles. So there's like movement to the abundance that's coming. I feel like a lot of you have like cleaned up your vibration. You've cleaned up your resistance because when you do that, you get to a place where the abundance just comes to you and you stop doubting yourself and you stop second guessing yourself. And you're like, you know, I am where I am and it's okay. I am amazing. I am truly fabulous. And I know that everything is going to work out for me. Then the other card that just came up as I was flicking through these ones is the tower. We've, did we have this one recently? I'm not sure. This is the second time I'm filming this reading because the first time the lighting was all kind of wrong and it just, I couldn't fix it in post. So yeah, I'm not too sure if this happened in the last reading, the one that didn't make it on YouTube or what, but the tower is a card that's like, okay, tower is like you've built this like foundation for yourself but sometimes if you're on the wrong path your divine intervention can just like i saw a scene from like um um little pig little pig let me in not by the hair of my chinny chin chin and i'll huff and i'll puff and i'll blow you blow your house down and that's what i'm seeing it's like sometimes the foundations are going to be a little bit shaken up Whoa. And then I had shake it off, shake it off, uh-oh, shake it off from Taylor Swift. I don't know. I just keep hearing the Taylor Swift song, but I can't pick up the lyrics. <laughs> I just keep hearing the melody. So it's like, oh my gosh, there's a lot that is happening. Maybe this tower is being rebuilt because the abundance that you are receiving isn't what you've received, what you've had before. Maybe you know how the funds to, you know, move into a place that sparks joy for you. Or maybe this means like, I don't know, it doesn't literally mean burning it down. It To me, it's like, well, with the, the angel tarot that I used to use, the tower card wasn't in it. It was actually life experience. So it's like maybe your life has gotten to a point where it has now shifted. Some like to me, like that could be like I always think of living situations. I don't know because of the house, or maybe that's what I'm feeling for you, but this could be like maybe you're moving in with a partner or your partner has moved out and now you've like started to clear away some of their possessions. Um I don't know. What does this feel like for you? Like, what comes up? Whoa. Knight of Wands, Queen of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Tower. This is such a good week. 
So their abundance is totally fitting in with <laughs> the disseminating moon, which is the receiving phase. Like you are receiving a lot of abundance, which is amazing. It's shaking things up and it's beautiful. And we're breathing with ease. Maybe you, but when you've received this abundance, you're now giving back to other people. This three of pentacles could actually maybe you giving back to three people. And it doesn't literally mean like you buying them gifts. It could be like your time. Maybe you say to you, like, I don't know, three of your closest friends, you're like, let's catch up for a cup of tea. Or maybe your friends aren't like joined together in a close knit group and you want to see them separately. I don't know. Do you guys have friends for like different areas of your life? And the balsamic moon, I don't think we've given, got cards for that yet. Hmm. All right, let's get more clarity. Amazing week so far. All right, angels. What do my MK Love Fam need to know for this week? Okay, that one. Ooh, we got the Fool. So the Fool is like starting a new chapter, which makes sense. It, oh, I've got the sunlight filming at a different time of day I'm just not used to filming in this house and I'm learning to go with the flow but I'm having resistance in my vibration I'm like this is not how I want it to be anyways forget about that so I feel like the fool is like it's like you've got this leap of faith and it's like you're just like spreading your wings and fly I, whenever I see this I see like this the scene from um Titanic where Jack and Rose are like got their arms out and they're at the, the front of the boat and they're like oh. like I just see that it's like freedom like what does freedom look like for you is this new freedom this money or this abundance that's coming away is this freedom giving you the time like the abundance could be someone looking after your kids is that giving you that abundance for you to then you know take yourself out on a hot date just just you and you and you you know like what does that look like this is like also like a turning point because the fool is represents like the dreamer's journey it's like you've reached the, the completion and now you're starting again remember this is just a general reading okay can we have some cards in the balsamic moon please what do we need to know for the balsamic moon i think we've got a lot for but in saying that the, the balsamic moon is just for sunday Or some of your just Sunday mornings so maybe there's not much for the balsamic moon okay wow okay <laughs> so we got three cards for the balsamic moon the first one that popped up who the ten of wands we always I'm not too sure because I filmed this reading twice and I may be getting confused but I feel like we've pulled this card a lot have we have we pulled this card a lot the Ten of Wands is like things are just a little bit too heavy on your back or maybe you're taking on too much. Maybe it, this could literally be like taking on too much weight in the gym and you notice a twinge in your back. Or this could be taking on too many responsibilities and you just need to like... Why did I hear that song? You can leave your hat on. You can leave your hat on. I don't know the rest of the song. Someone Google that if that sticks in your subconscious and you're like oh, I don't know what the rest of it is but that's just what I heard this is like 10 ones it's like 10 different I don't know do you have too many ideas at once and you can't really focus on one and then the other one who is the page of cups so that breathing in that good ass prana baby <laughs> or that could be literally like breathing in I don't know, breathing in the life force. This could literally be like taking more times to just breathe. I feel like this is more balsamic moon. That makes more sense. Page of cups. Cups is the emotion. Just taking time to just breathe in. Breathe out. Let's do it two more times. Breathe in. Breathe out. And again, breathe in. Breathe out. Ooh, I think that's really, really powerful for that time. For the, I think that's definitely links in with the balsamic moon. The emotions fits. It's more like just, just taking a step back. You know, you don't have to run at 50 miles an hour. You can just, you can do things, but I just feel like you really need to take time to just 
take a step back. How does that look like for you? You know that I take time off social media. Peter and I are actually going away for the weekend and staying in a fancy hotel. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, and then the other card I just that came up a part of that is the star. Ah, I love it. Oh, that means um, dreams really do come true. Someday I wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Someday I wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far. Troubles melt like lemon drops Way above the chimney tops That's where you'll find me oh, Somewhere over the rainbow Bluebirds fly Bluebirds god that's well that's the card we're going to end on because the star is like such a beautiful a beautiful beautiful card <laughs> like think about the lyrics um someday i wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me yeah you're going to get your wish all your dreams are going to come through you're going to have your clarity but you, I feel like you just need to take time just to breathe. Just breathe because you've been like carrying all this stuff around. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. And, you know, we're rebuilding. You know, I don't know. This could be a very exciting thing. I think that when some things like get burnt down or maybe you got burnt from somebody. You know, did someone say something that you didn't really appreciate? And you're like, are you flipping kidding me i thought you were my friend it's like oh that's a divine intervention listen to that intuition a real friend wouldn't do that to you i don't know this is there's so many things that come up i just feel excited i feel like release with the heart chakra with this one i feel like the release is definitely going to come yeah the release is coming when you get when you take all of this off your back it's too it's too heavy you don't need to be doing that. You don't need to be taking on that much. <laughs> I'm like a bird, I run and fly away. I don't know where my soul, I don't know where my home is. I da da went da da da. I'm like a bird, I run and fly away. Fly away, fly away to this. Go camping for the weekend. If you don't have money, um, available to you I don't know go camping turn your like do you have a tent a lot of you in the southern he northern hemisphere now it's like 34 degrees it's summertime summer is coming pitch a tent in your backyard and just have an amazing time I don't know what does it look like for you you don't need to have money to have fun you know they say the best things in life are free which is having your family and your friends around you but it's a balsamic moon, so just choose your favorite person. You know, you don't need to be surrounded by lots and lots of people at this time because you really need time to find that introspection and to go deep within your soul. My heart chakra is hurting, so I feel like this is a lot to do with the matter of the heart. This could be you following your heart, but it's I'm getting a bit of pain, like tightness. So it's like by you following your heart and like taking time out for you to love and to nurture and to really like reconnect back with your your body, your mind and your soul. That's when you're going to get, that's when your wish is going to start coming true because you started to clear the resistance. Oh my gosh, there's lots going on. Lots, lots, lots. But I'm just finishing on this. Like, that's just pure delicious goodness. I actually just want to pull one card from the Archangel Raphael Oracle, actually, and just see what. No, I haven't even shuffled yet. Every day I'm shuffling. Okay. Angels, can we just have one card from here? What do my MK Love fam like need to know? 
I just, I don't think I like Oracle anymore. Just, I don't, no, I don't feel connected to it. Cancel that. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Exciting, exciting, exciting week. Please comment down below my loves, my loves, and let me know what is coming up for you because I would love to hear from you. I actually will not be responding. Will I? No. Will I? Oh, this always confuses me. This happened last time. So this is going out on Monday. Yes, I will be responding to your comments on Monday. Um, yeah. By the way, are you guys aware that Re Weekly Angel Guidance has now moved to Monday? If you haven't followed me on Instagram, which I highly recommend you should, and turn on post notifications, um, I changed Weekly Angel Guidance to a Monday because um, my only day with Peter is now Sundays. So that's now our date day, which means no communication, uh, no communication, no social media, no phones, no nothing. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't have a chance to reply. So that's why it's moved to Monday. Anyways, my love, I hope you have enjoyed this weekly angel guidance. And I'll be talking to you in the comments from 7am to 8am Australian Eastern Standard Time, which aka is the first hour this video is live. I love you, I love you, love you. Can't wait to hear what comes up for you in the comments below. Goodbye.